Hi guys, this is Rosno and welcome back to the channel. So today I am on a mission to find Justina, her little sister, finally. It might be a, just like a window shopping situation. I saw this uh, plant shop on Instagram and it's in downtown Tampa and it looked pretty interesting and cute. And like a whole vibe. So I was like, I might just pass by there, see if I can find my Justina right here. Her little sister. I've been looking into this plant. It's called the Monstera, something like that. I'll insert a picture right here. That's the Monstera. So I don't know if I want to get it like a small one and then grow it. I don't know if I'm at that level yet with plants. At the same time, I don't know if I want to get a big one because that might be too expensive. I don't even know how to take care of it. So I'll ask questions at the store. But like, yeah, I just thought it would be like a whole vibe. And I want to take you guys with me. MC Promos. nursery it is such a cute shop like i am obsessed at like i wish i came with someone so that we can do like pictures like of me in there but like obviously we couldn't because i'm alone so but it's a, such a cute shop i hope you guys can see through like the videos i try and take inside there i did get my plant it's smaller than i expected but i'm kind of excited for the journey of like growing it and grooming it hopefully it doesn't die on me at some point but yeah i got my monstera I am super excited and I got a little cute pot for it yeah and they packed it in a little bag for me it's so cute like I saw other plants that I didn't even know about and it's I think I'm gonna be back here like I think this is gonna be my plant stop it's so cute I love it so yeah so here's my little new baby how cute and they let's see the fancy free nursery bagged it up for me proper it's pretty cool. I'll show it to you properly when I get home. But yeah, that's 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 my new babe. Okay, so now that I've got my little baby, I'm already on this side of town already. So I want to go to the home goods on this side of town because I feel like I've gone to the other one one too many times, and I kind of want to see like what's new on this other side because you know they always have like different stocks, different things. So yeah, if I can find like some sort of like a basket, I need a basket. And then I'm, after that, I might go to Ikea. I feel like it's always a routine. If I go to Home Goods, then I have to go to Ikea at some point. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's go to Home Goods. Guys, what do you think about this mirror? Isn't it the cutest thing? God, I did not come here for this. What the hell is wrong with me? So now it's $59. It's pretty good. Oh my god. Okay, look at this little thing. I have like the perfect spot for it downstairs. And it has like storage inside. Yes, I do. It's a little cabinet of some sort. But it's dented. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's dented right there. It is $179. Oof. They're probably just gonna give me 10% off for the dent. That's still too much, but that is really cute. Okay, here's the white version of it. I don't think it's like as impactful as the other one. It's too cute though. But I just like the black one more. Guys, I think I finally found the kitchen mask that I've been looking for. Now, the only problem is I can't, it's not the brown that I wanted, but at least it has some sort of like that wooden texture that I was looking for. And also, it is a little cushioned, exactly what I wanted. The only thing is, it's not the color. Like, I wanted like more of a beige. But yeah, there's this dark one in the lighter version, and I'm leaning towards the lighter version right now. So. I'm excited. Home goods came through. I mean, you don't always get 100%, but 
I think this will do. I've waited enough and I've looked. This will do. in that space that I was talking about. I'll show you the space when I get home, but that's cool. I don't know how I feel about it being open, but at the same time, it could be cute decor put on there, a lampshade and stuff. Anyways, I'll show you when I get home. Guys, look at this chandelier. How pretty is this? It's $99. Oh, cool. All right guys, so I just came from Ikea. It was pretty successful. I got a frame and I got some curtains that I'm gonna add to the door, the slider, cause the first pair I put it was kind of like skimpy, like it's a little thin, so I can add, uh, need to add like two more panels just to make it more thick and you know, it looks better that way I feel like, so yeah, I literally just got a frame and curtains from Ikea. I didn't get a basket, I saw baskets but I'm like, I think that can wait, that can wait and the whole point of me wanting to get a basket was like if I got a big plant, I wanted it to be in like a basket but since I got a small one, I just put it in a little pot and it's fine so I can always get a basket later on when the plant gets bigger so yeah, right now I'm just gonna go home, chill, call it a day and that's pretty much my Saturday today I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, but <sighs> I just got these from IKEA. They were right there at the checkout counter. I was like, you know what? What the hell? Whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna warm one of these up and some coffee. Have that, and then <sighs> I am one of those people who still has the Christmas decor up. So I think I'm just gonna take everything down. That's the frame that I got from IKEA. I want to put that up there and then I want to like do some sort of like mopping and sweeping on the floor so that I can well put my kitchen mats out I mean it's not dirty but you know new new so I just feel like cleaning I'm in a cleaning mood so I might as well just get into it so yeah and this this right here is mon chéri mon bébé and her name is Zen so this is my new baby, baby Zen Zen. She is a Monstera plant and yeah, she's a baby. She's gonna grow big and strong. I put all the positivity vibes on you, baby. So, sorry about this lighting, man. But anyways, so uh, I have a little paint in here and a paintbrush because I have like three little holes with nails in them. I took off the nails, covered it with caulking and now I kind of need to like paint over the holes so it's not like visible. So that's what's going on right now. the frame up and it's sitting pretty good I like that uh, I still have to take out all this like the covering on the plexiglass and put like a paint art or some sort of art in here I'm still contemplating if I should like buy art or make my own I'm leaning towards making my own because I like just things to be unique I don't want to have something that someone else has and oh I just like the feeling of like oh I made that I did that myself so I don't know, I'm contemplating on it. I'm gonna sit on it for a few days because I don't even know if I'm to make it what exactly it's gonna be. So I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna leave it up there. That way when I come downstairs, go upstairs, I see it and maybe something will click eventually. So yeah, but I'm loving it. I'm loving the size of it. It fits perfectly. It's the perfect size and yeah. Yeah, I guess the next thing I just have to clean around, clean all this mess and that'll be it.
happy sunday so it is sunday today i'm about to get my uh morning workout in so i don't know if you guys watched my toy thing challenge that i did like a few weeks back it will be linked down in the description below go and check it out i got such amazing amazing results on my abs and i know in the video i said yes i'll do it again but next time i do it i will be like um watching my diet and stuff but like since i'm still learning about my diet I still got like super great results just doing it without even like watching my diet. I'm like, why the hell would I stop? So the next day, literally after the, I continued day 15, 16, 17, and I don't even know what day I'm in right now. At this point, it's like a routine. The Chloe thing challenge. Come on, guys, jump on it. The theme is abs 2021. I'm holding myself accountable. Let's go. Let's get it. wrapped up the clothing challenge for today so what I want to do right now is uh, jump in the shower and then I'm gonna make myself some good breakfast and then I'm gonna come uh, upstairs and start editing like you know the vibes you know how it is I gotta get something ready for you guys for you the next week and the week after that and the week after that please don't forget to subscribe right now today right now we are standing at 360 subscribers tall proud strong so we're trying to get to 500 as soon as possible as fast as possible so please support your girl i love doing this it's a passion of mine it's an outlet it's the way i let out my creative juices i am holding myself accountable making myself you know healthier and yeah recording literally my journey to uh, like a better lifestyle for myself and hopefully that inspires you so i'd love it if you can just support me and subscribe road to 500 today 360 tomorrow 500 <laughs> friday welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog i don't know if this is in the middle of the vlog i don't know who cares but i got a thing that i want to try out today something to do with these eyebrows i saw a girl use fake um you know the hair removal cream for like the lips and stuff and the, i don't know the hair removal cream for the face but she used that to like do her eyebrows like like not trim what would it be a trim like shape clean out her eyebrows and i'm like you know what I've never tried that before and I want to try it out so what she did first is like she drew out her eyebrows the way she, the way like she would normally draw the eyebrows so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna draw out my eyebrows I'm gonna draw them super extra hard like super hard because you know I want to have like a perfect outline and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the hair removal cream all around it and let it sit there and then I'm gonna wipe it off and hopefully I don't completely wipe out all of my eyebrows but like if there's any time to try something on my face it's this time because we're working from home full time and yeah if for some reason all my eyebrows come out i'm just gonna have to sit inside and wait them to wait for them to grow at some point so yeah let's go on with it so i'm just gonna draw this on and then i'll get back to you guys okay guys so i know right now i look extra extra crazy but that's okay I'm about to look even crazier so I drew on my eyebrows extra hard so I get like the exact outline of my eyebrows or how I'd like them to to be shaped eventually and then I put concealer around just like to clean it up and just so the lines are clear when I'm applying the hair removal cream it's like I just be following that outline I didn't even bother to blend because I want to see exactly where I'm gonna put the like um the hair removal cream so right now I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm a little scared, but I'm willing to take the risk. I feel like if this if this works out, then I'll be saving eight dollars or ten dollars, eight to ten dollars. Because every time you have to do like an eyebrow wax or something, that's like eight or ten dollars. So if I can do this on my own, 
Mm. Save my coins, and I'm all about that. We all we already know that I'm all about that. So, yeah, let's go ahead. I got this um, Nair facial. What is it? What? Face cream. Nair face cream. So it's like it removes like hair from your face if you have like lip hair. I don't know, whatever. Just hair removal on your face, basically. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna open it up. Okay, good. It doesn't have like a strong smell or anything. So I'm gonna take a small brush, something sturdy that you can control your movement. And I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. So I'm gonna put some of that on the brush neatly. This is very dangerous, guys. I'm so scared. So that's the amount I got right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw that. I need to use the mirror, so I'm just gonna turn. I'm gonna come back to you when I'm done because I need to like be extra careful. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I finished like putting on the face um, hair removal cream all around my eyebrows. I know I look hella crazy right now, but I have a feeling this is gonna work out. I don't know how long I have to wait out for it to be like ready to wipe out. Um, let me see. Five minutes. It says five minutes, so I'll set the timer on for five minutes. Meanwhile, I'll be listening to some music, jamming, and yeah, I'll get back to you when the five minutes is done. <sighs> Hopefully this works out. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> so it's been five minutes i don't want to wait any longer because who knows i don't want to like burn up my whole face but um at the same time i'm kind of having a feeling that five minutes is not enough but you know what i'd rather just wipe it off see how it looks like and then if anything i can always try again maybe next week because i don't want to like do it back to back just in case so yeah, i got my cotton here and the micellar water obviously that i used to take off my makeup and I'm just gonna use this to wipe this out. Please, God, let it, let it have worked. God, please. Okay. 